Even if Americans choose somebody extremely opposite to me and my policies to run the country, I felt happy that I left the country in a better shape than I find it. Are these only a sound words or did he actually left United States of America in a better place? Today we're talking about Barack Obama and his memoirs A Promised Land, nearly 800 pages book and president threatens us that there will be a second part. As president himself said that more talented author probably would fit in a smaller volume, but this will suffice. I have to be honest with you, it was the first presidential memoir I've read, but I really enjoyed it. To me personally, he was a decent and very pleasant person and it was felt, especially in the book, there were parts when he told the story about the people being giving him their lucky charms and by the time he became a president he got quite a big bunch of those uh, lucky charms and he's been taking some of those when going to the debates on the television etc and also before going on those he's been listening to songs mainly written by Jay-Z and Eminem. It's nice, those are just a small interesting fact that make him more of a human and just a nice person. But the whole presidency thing was much more complicated than it might seem. The president himself considered an outsider at the Washington as the person who didn't serve in a military uh, while trying to make decisions on how many troops to dislocate in Afghanistan and somebody who do not have enough experience in politics according to his critics etc. In the book president also didn't spare a criticism to the media who are always chasing the ratings but not the facts. So I will not go into more details on this never-ending topic. One of the most powerful ideas to me from a book was that Barack Obama and all of us in general needs to prepare not only for cheering of the crowd but for the booing as well. When at some point we will not reach some of people's expectations, draw not from our ideas or explanations but from their own hopes and dreams. Also, some critics says that some of the explanations and standpoints are weak and strained at some places. For example, while talking about political fragmentation, he notes that both parties are to blame, but that the Republicans' uh, mischiefs are far worse while talking about inactivity of parties to act on healthcare, education and Wall Street regulations and a bigger governmental role in state economics. He does not give depth of argumentation on the issues and presents them somewhat cartoonishly, I would say. Uh, what can I say? I find a whole new genre that I enjoyed reading. Looking forward to second book. And if you would like to understand American political system somewhat better and some behind the scenes of most important decision making in the world, it is a great place to start. I do recommend to read this book. It was well written and thoughtful. And also, just recently, I posted the video about Trevor Noah and his book Born a Crime. I find them very similar in some way. Uh, they both couldn't find where to fit. Uh, Obama was raised by his mother and I remember Trevor Noah and his childhood. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Uh, have a very nice evening, enjoy your life and see you very soon in a next video. Bye!